Welcome to this second video on analyzing our data from the polarization of light experiment. And so in this video, we're going to look at how the angle versus uh, affects the intensity. Um, apart from just looking at the angle, we'll also look at the cos of the angle or the cosine of the angle versus intensity, as well as cos squared of the angle versus intensity. So the first thing we want to do is tell Excel what data we wanted to use to make our graph. So I actually find the easiest way to do this is to click on column A and hold down control and click on whatever uh, group you want. So I've done column A versus column D. So that's angle versus intensity. Obviously, I'm just focusing on group one. I'm going to go insert. Now, my favorite type of chart here is an XY scatter plot. And I'm just going to do an XY scatter plot with straight lines. And there we go. I'm just going to click on that there to sort of increase the contrast, change that color. Now, group one isn't the best title for our graph here. So I'm just going to double click on that and just change the chart title. We're going to go angle versus intensity. Um, and also with Excel, uh, it doesn't natively show you the axis titles, so you can add chart elements. There's two different ways to do that. You can either click on this plus here, so to add a chart element, or in the top left underneath the design tab, you've got add chart element up there. So I'm just going to go up there. And so we want axis titles and we want the horizontal as well as the vertical. So down the bottom here, with our axis title for the horizontal, we want angle, that makes sense. And we could even write angle of analyzer. And then our vertical axis is going to be, it's not angle, sorry, it is intensity and the intensity is measured in the units of lux um, if you notice our chart it's not bad we could probably make it a little bit better once again and by adding a few different chart elements so we can add some data labels there they're quite nice to sort of see that um, the other thing i want to look at is on the horizontal axis on the angle of the analyzer you can see that we've actually got past 90 degrees and we actually don't have a data point past 90 degrees. So we can sort of chop that and to chop where the horizontal axis goes to, if you right click on that axis and go format axis, um, we can actually see on the right hand side here, if I just my head, um, the maximum value we want for that axis isn't 100. We want to change that to 90 and there we go. So that's reasonably good graph that we've made and you can see the relationship between the angle um, when the angle is zero you have the maximum intensity and as that angle increases you get this drop off in intensity um, to, to the point where you're nearly getting no light passing through there now the next thing we want to investigate is actually to create a graph with column B versus intensity so I'm clicking on column B holding down control clicking on column D and then following that same pathway, insert chart. I'm going to go XY scatter plot with straight lines joining them. And if I click on this chart and drag it over here, you can see that just moving down that with this chart, um, it's got an interesting shape. I'm just going to change the colors, make it a bit interesting. So the shape is. You know, it's looking like an exponential. It's it's sort of rising up there. And so that gives us an indication that this isn't just a linear relationship between the cosine of the angle or the cos of the angle and the intensity. Um, so once again, we want to label this chart and we should always label it with the X axis first, X versus Y. So this would be cos of angle versus intensity. Um, we can format this bottom axis once again because we don't have cos of greater than one. So we can go format axis. Maximum value is going to be one. Perfect. And then we can have a look at this vertical axis here. And we obviously want to add some chart elements. The chart elements we add are obviously our axis titles once again. 
So we've added our horizontal axis title, which is going to be cos of angle. And the vertical axis is still going to be the same thing. It's going to be intensity in lux. And there we go. It's quite nice there. We've got this chart. Um, as we said, it's not a linear relationship. And we can see that by the curve of the chart. So we're going to make one more graph. And the last one we're going to do, actually, we might we might get some data labels on this just because of the way it looks. Add data labels um, below. Yeah, that's looking good. The last one we're going to do here is look at the cos squared of the angle. So it's actually the cos of the angle squared versus intensity. So if I click on column C here, hold down control and click on column D, I'm now going to insert a chart, insert XY scatter plot. Um, and there we go. That's it there. Oops, don't move it. I'm just going to move that down out of the way so we can look on. And so that I can focus on this solely, I'm just going to remove that ribbon at the top. Actually, bring that ribbon back for just one moment while I just change what it looks like. And so you can see we have this sort of nice linear relationship. You can see that as the cosine of the angle squared is plotted on the horizontal axis, um, we get this straight line versus intensity. And that's really important. So. We're now going to sort of fix up our graph once again. It's the cos of the ang angle squared versus intensity. And so a graph isn't complete unless it's got some axis titles and we can put some data labels on again. So our axis title on the bottom here is cos of the angle squared. And the vertical axis was intensity once again. Now this is sort of not finished. This looks really good, but it's not finished. Why it's not finished is we can actually use Microsoft Excel to try and work out the trend here if there's a relationship and, a, and to give us a, a sort of an equation for this. So I'm just going to move ahead again and go add chart element. And so this time we want to click on trend line. Now, if we click on trend line, there's, there's a few different things we can look at. So I'll just make my head a little bit smaller. There we go. When we click on trend line, we can actually click on this right button here and click on options. Click on more options, we get this tab down the right hand side and we can sort of see trend line options. And I just want to close that for a second, sorry, and format trend line is what I want. So I do want a linear relationship because it, this does look like a, a straight line trend line. And what I can do is I actually want to I can set an intercept if I want, and the intercept by default, sometimes you want it to be zero, zero. I'm gonna leave that off for the moment, but I'm gonna click on display equation on chart, and you can see it's just popped up there. And so what you can see is, if you have the cos of the angle squared on the x-axis, um, and you multiply it by 422.51, and then minus 7.114, we should get what our actual value is. And what I mean by that is it should give us our intensity um, thereabouts. So for example, you can see that we have the cos squared of the angle, um, sorry, cos squared of an angle will, might give us 0 0.6. To actually use your calculator to go backwards, what we can do is we, in our calculator, we can go 0 0.6, and then the square root of that is going to be 0 0.77. And then if we go 
inverse cos of 0 0.77, we have this angle here of 39.64 degrees. Now, what we can do is we can say, all right, well, if we've got 39.64 degrees, what intensity will that give us? So in our calculator, we're going to go cos of 39.64 degrees. So cos of 39.64 equals, once again, we just test that, that's 0 0.77. If we square that, we get 0 0.59, which is close to the 0 0.6 that we're trying to investigate. And now comes the magic part. So if I get that number, and I use this equation that's in the format of y equals mx plus b, although in this sense it's y equals mx minus b, I can then predict the actual intensity of that angle. So I'm going to go 422.51 times that value. So I get 250, but I need to remember that I need a minus 7.1. 114, and so I get this value here, 243. So what I've just worked out is for this point in the graph here, my intensity should be around 243. And if you look at the graph, that actually works out to be approximately right. So you, around, uh, if the cos of an angle squared is 0 0.6, then it should give us around 243 lux. So hopefully that's shown you how to make your graphs of not just the angle versus intensity, then cos squared of the angle versus, sorry, cos of the angle versus intensity. And then finally, cos of the angle squared versus intensity. And then we get our trend line there. Um, and so that's, that's pretty powerful. As I said, it lets us predict any value along this line. Um, we can't extrapolate it past this because as you rotate that polarizer, as we said, that's gonna now drop back down. But um, we can use this to sort of estimate with quite high accuracy what the intensity will be at any of these particular angles. So thanks for watching this video and good luck making your graphs.